Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So today we're going to do a shared yoga routine. And remember that the shared yoga is for everybody. Of course, for the seniors, it's better because you don't have to go onto the ground and it's easy for you to practice anywhere. But also if you are on your office or you are on the, in the park or also when you are traveling in the airport, these routines are great for you. And remember, it's just so easy to practice them. So we're going to start. So the important when you are doing shared yoga is that you sit at the edge of the chair. So that's mean the knees will stay at the same height of your hips. Now, if a chair is higher or lower, try to look for a chair that you feel comfortable and that you keep the knees above, uh, at the same height of your hips. Now, you feet flat on the ground, and if you cannot reach the ground, you can put a block on there. But it's important that you are at the edge of the, of the, of the chair, sorry, and you have your back straight. That's super important. So remember, to activate our core muscles, our pelvic floor muscles, and the lower tummy, we have to do the activation of pulling the pubic bone towards the belly button and that way we really have that power coming from the base of the hips and we keep our spine aligned. Now we're going to take a couple of breaths here as always to start and concentrate us in the present moment and keep the awareness into our body. So let's start, you can move your hands on your tummy, breathe in deeply through your nose, breathe out through your mouth with a sensation of fog in a glass. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Just one more, breathe in and breathe out. Now, when we do this breath out like a fog in a glass, we activate the epiglottis. That's why you feel like a contract in your throat. Now, we're going to try to do the same, but inhaling and exhaling through your nose, so keeping your mouth closed. So let's try it. Again, if you lose the sensation, just exhale through your mouth, catch it up again, and back again, inhale through your nose. Are you ready? So let's go. I always like to close my eyes because I can really concentrate, so you are afraid to close them as well. So take a deep breath through your nose, breathe out through your nose. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, we're gonna inhale for four, hold the breath for four, exhale for four and hold for four. And we're gonna repeat a couple of times, ready? And if it's possible, all the time, inhale and exhale through the nose with the activation of your epiglottis. Take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Let's start. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three, four. And hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three. Four and hold two three four and in two three four and hold two three four exhale two three four and hold two three four keep a deep and long breath and remember use the breath the breath helps us to concentrate in our body as well to keep us in the present moment so we can have a little of mental release as well and help us to land and hold the muscles work. So are you ready? So we're going to bring our hands at the chair so then we can have our back straight, relax your shoulders, engage your tummy. We're going to lift the right knee and we're going to pulse. Remember, as far as it's good for you, doesn't matter if it's just tiny, tiny pulls. Don't worry. With the time, you will get more strength and flexibility. So ready? We pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Now hold the leg from behind and pull the knee closer but keep your back straight. Press the left foot on the ground to give you more stability. Engage your tummy. Let's hold four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, breathe in, engage your tummy and breathe out. Let's go for two. Breathe in and breathe out. And just one more, and breathe out. 
Great. Now release your feet. Let's go other leg. Hands on the chair. Knee up. And let's pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold the knee. Pull it closer. Be careful to don't curl your back. Keep your back straight as much as you can. Give it an effort. And if you don't have the strength in your arms, you can always hold a towel. Let's hold here for four. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for three. And breathe out. Let's go two. Relax your shoulders. And breathe out. And just one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Drop your foot. Now interlace your fingers, push your palms away. We're going to breathe in. Make sure that your feet are pushing the ground so you have a stability. So push like you want to stand up. So let's take a breath. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stretch toes to the side. Breathe in. Back to center. Breathe out. Other side. Oh, it's good. And back to center. And let's go to the side. Great for your spine mobility. Back to center, other side. Back, and we are gonna go all the way forward, Ben. Remember here, as far as you feel comfy, let the head drop, feel the stretch in your lower back. Let's hold four breaths. Breathe in, and you cannot reach the ground, keep your hands on your knees or your legs. Let's hold two more breaths. Breathe in, and breathe out. Just one more, and breathe out. Breathe in to prepare, push your feet against the ground to help it to raise your torso. Good, everybody. Roll your shoulders, powers. Open your chest. One more time. Open up. Good. Now back again, push your palms away, and we're going to go one more time. Breathe in, and breathe out onto the side. And back to center. And let's go other side. And one more time. Onto the side. And back to center. Onto the side. How it feels? Great. Now drop your arms. This time we're going to do the figure of four stretch. So we are going to lift the right leg, pull it closer. And help it to keep your ankle on your thigh. Now, some of you still, this is harder. So what you are going to do here, you are just going to cross the leg as far as you can. But you can move me your ankle more onto the thigh and create a figure of four between your legs. It will be fantastic to stimulate more the rotation of the leg. Your knee can be up. That's fine. Hold the knee all the time. Okay, so don't worry, then it doesn't go that low. Don't force your muscles and your joints. So from here, we're going to go forward bend. So breathe in and breathe out all the way. And then we're just going to hold here for four as far as we don't feel pain. Relax your shoulders. Let's go for three. Two. Just one more. Now raise your torso. We're going to twist toes to the left to catch our foot with our hand and the other hand on the chair to help us to twist. If it's not possible to catch the foot, you just keep it on your thigh or on the other thigh, whatever is good for you. So lift your tummy, keep your back straight because when we are twisting, it's important to have the back straight. So make sure your back is straight and then you can twist deeply. Let's hold here for four, breathe in, and breathe out. Anytime, close your eyes and really connect with your body. Let's go two more breaths. Breathe in, and out. Just one more, and out. Great. Back to center. We're going to move towards to the other side. So we twist towards the other side. Straight your back before we twist. And we hold here for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. And imagine that this foot is pushing something to activate your legs. One more breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
back to center and we're gonna swap the leg so left leg again some of us your knee will be higher because it's still we don't have too much rotation on the leg that's fine okay you can hold it in this way and let's go forward bend first so we just hold here for four relax your shoulders let's go for three and two and just one more and we come all the way up we're gonna twist to us to the right side first straight your back lift your chest and this foot kind of pushing something to activate your leg muscles let's hold it here for four and exhale let's go for three and exhale let's go two and exhale and just one more and exhale back to center let's move towards to the other side open your chest let's hold for four and exhale let's go for three and exhale to feel lovely sensation in your spine and just one more and release it feels so good and again we just need a few minutes to feel that lovely relief in our body release again your feet everybody and we're just gonna move our arms up push your palms away and if it's possible hold me here just four breath pushing your arms breathe in and breathe out let's go three and two and just one more let's stretch towards the side take a full breath breathe in and breathe out back to center other one breathe in oh feels really nice <laughs> and come back drop your arms and back again your hands on the chair and we're gonna just slide the foot right foot forward and we're gonna try to lift so the same pulls with the knee but now we're gonna keep the leg straight ready doesn't matter if it's just tiny the other foot make sure that you are pushing the ground with that foot so your tummy and your leg muscles are engaged ready let's go 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three two one now we swap other leg ten you can keep your toes pointing or your foot flex let's go for seven six five four three two one well done let's go forward bend the last stretch everybody let the head drop breathe in and breathe out get your toe Let's go for three two and just one more and come all the way up ah roll your shoulders backward so you have time repeat the sequence from the beginning remember just click in the chapter so it's going to bring you to the starting of the routine and if it's your time to go so we're gonna say goodbye with our last three breath so inhale move your arms up exhale through your mouth or drop your arms inhale and one more and hands back brave position and we say Namaste. Thank you for joining us. I hope you like these routines. Please subscribe, like, and please let me know. Give me a comment so then I know that you are happy with the routines. What else would you like to do? And if you keep practicing, you will feel great and have fantastic benefits in your body's mobility.
Thank you so much. Remember that you find us on Instagram as Sacred Body Studio, and you can find our website at sacredbodystudio.ie. See you in the next video.